touch that fire for you I do that three, four times again I testify for you I told that lie like Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to another video I am Camila Riss It is a day four of our October hair challenge and today's video we're going to be diving into tips on how to transition into natural hair so whether you are already on your natural hair journey or you're just getting started on your natural hair journey i will be telling you the essentials that you will need to embrace your natural curls all right so let's jump right into the video if you guys see me looking down it's because i have my little ipad right here in my hand and i just want to make sure i'm letting you guys know all the tips and i don't forget what i'm need to be telling you guys in regards to my tips and also i am using natural lighting so if you see that the light changes it's just because of that so tip number one is all about patience Transitioning to natural hair can be a journey in itself and it requires time and patience. Embrace every stage and trust the process, but also remember that beautiful curls take time to flourish. Tip number two, deep conditioning is your best friend during the transition. It helps maintain moisture, prevent breakage and it also leaves your hair feeling luxurious okay so one of the ones that i love using is tgin deep conditioner and i use this once a month to help with that extra hydration boost and you also can go in my previous video on day two of this challenge of my top five must-have products so make sure you go check that out tip number three low manipulation styles are fantastic for your transitioning hair so like buns twists braids which can um, help minimize stress on your strands and can also promote healthy hair growth and we want that health over length okay just remember that health over length help over length help over length help over length okay okay moving along tip number four is protective styling now protective styling is a game changer okay like if you're not protective styling during this process what are you doing like what are you doing they allow your hair to shed damage and there's like so many like there's so many out there there's so many other options for protective styling to choose from and one of my favorite classic protective styling is faux locks okay faux locks them right there they just hit different and for me only because for me like my mom my sister they have locks they're beautiful their locks i i'm just not committed to going into that just yet so you gonna have to faux locks me baby okay faux locks me i would do faux locks any day twists is classic braids box braids um one that's not i don't know if it's classic or not it's not really classic protective styling i think it's more non-traditional it's not really traditional but a lot of people do these do this as well and that is wigs and weaves yes wigs and weaves are protective styling but if you're transitioning and you're trying to be like fully natural and you don't want to put any heat or extra heat on your hair during that process I would say if you want to go that route, then choose wigs. Wigs will be a great option for transitioning, especially if you are one that always had your hair straight and you don't know how you are gonna feel or look during this transitioning process. Girl, get your wig. Get you a wig, okay? They got so many wigs out here that I'm trying to step into that game because, like, 
I want to know how I look with a wig on. I haven't worn hair in so long. Let me stop rambling. Alright guys, we are halfway there. So tip number five is gentle detangling. Gentle detangling your natural hair is extremely crucial. So always using a wide to comb or like a wide um, bristle brush like the Felicia Leather Bread. <laughs> Felicia Leatherwood brushes or the Tangle Teasers, something that will help you detangle your hair. Or you can also use your fingers. God gave, you, gave us these and we can use them. So you can use your hands working your way from your tips up your shaft and make sure that you're pre preventing any extra breakage. So just make sure that you're being gentle with your hair because our hair is going to be curly and our curls curl up, curl up on top of our curls and they sometimes lead to single, single strand knots or double strand knots and we just don't want to prevent anymore and so just be gentle. Okay, tip number six is proper moisture balance. Moisture is crucial when it comes to our hair. You don't want your hair to be too dry or do you want your hair to be too greasy. So you will want to find a balance. So this will require you to learn your hair, experiment with different products. But I suggest that you look into a good leave-in conditioner like Camille rose coconut water or camille rose honey hydrates um you can also check that out on my top five must-have products but make sure you just find you a good leave-in conditioner that can help in you know aiding that balance of moisture for you tip number seven don't forget to trim your hair as needed you need to trim your ends trimming your ends help get rid of split ends and it promotes healthier hair growth so get yourself on a regimen to where you get your hair trimmed or you do it yourself if you're up for that then do it i personally get my hair trimmed professionally and i'm on a regimen of every three or so months so that's at least four times within the year. So trimming your hair is like a fresh start for your curls. So make sure you get your ends trimmed. Tip number eight is nutrition and hydration. What we put in our body, we should be able to put on our hair. So make sure you are staying hydrated, drinking your water, getting those rich vitamins within your body because I'm saying if we can eat it, we should be able to put it on our hair or it should be able to feed our hair. So we need proper nutrition and we need to stay hydrated. Staying hydrated does wonders for our hair. Y'all, we got one more left after this one. Tip number nine is seek support and inspiration. So don't hesitate to seek any type of support or inspiration during your transition journey. So you can look up Facebook groups or any online communities. Um, go on Pinterest if you want to get any inspirations as far as styles. And also, hello, we right here are starting our own community. So if you need ever need anything, you can always DM me or leave a comment down below because we're all family at this part. But just seek inspiration, seek support from your communities, ask questions, like don't hesitate okay and our last and final tip tip number 10 is you guys just embrace your journey embrace the journey of transitioning to natural hair your hair is beautiful it's a part of you so you are beautiful just appreciate embrace it love and you know everything will flourish 
and everything will be good that's that's really all i have to say um every kink every curl um i mean what all do you want to say like just wear it girl wear it appreciate it wear it with pride so you guys that's the end of our video i just want to say thank you so much for tuning in with me today on the 10 tips of transitioning to natural hair if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already. so my camera just died but as i was saying make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not have already subscribed and share these with other natural listas that you know and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video just remember to love your curls, embrace, and see you guys tomorrow. All you gotta do is say that.